Alrighty, uh, I made a similar video uh, about this topic, which is a genuine Garrett housing versus a Chinese, I guess this was an eBay housing. Uh, this is for a GT3076, or I guess 3071. Uh, the other comparison that I made was... Uh, one was actually a GT35 because I'd bought the wrong rear housing and then the other was my genuine Garrett 0.82. So one was a 0.82, one was a 0.63. This time we've both got 0.63s. This is the genuine Garrett one. This is the Chinese one. Uh, I will show you... So have a look in here. I'll have to try and juggle the... Uh the light, so what we're looking at is, see this nice rounded edge here? Um, so obviously your exhaust goes in there, it comes around here and it spills over into the turbine, uh, goes around and then goes out the exhaust. So you see this nice rounded edge, particularly here, round to about here. Uh, and this is why you pay for, or this is what you pay for when you're buying a, a sort of a genuine Garrett housing versus, say, a Chinese manifold. So we'll get the torch in there. And if we look at them sort of side by side, let me just get that at the right angle. So just noticing this one actually starts further back. So this little doodad here. This one starts further back. The opening is smaller. And if you have a look here, it's a very, very hard sort of shoulder. Let me try and do the... Uh... So see how it's, a, it's like a hard shoulder? You can... I can balance the torch there. You can see just here, this is actually like a square edge. So there's, you know, it's not gonna spill over just here. Whereas this one, you can clearly see it's nice and rounded. And this rounded edge goes all the way around right up to here. Uh, with this one, it is a square edge. And then it starts to sort of spill over there, but not really. It's a very square edge. So the idea, and listen, I'm no... Uh, aerodynamicist or an expert in turbochargers but the idea is that it goes up around hits the turbine wheel and goes down through now this almost is conducive to it just going around and continuing to go around it's not sort of designed to go round and then through whereas this it's sort of designed to go round, hit the turbine blades. I mean, the turbine blades do direct it through, uh, but that's that's one of the major differences. Now, somebody was selling, so GT3076, this is a 10-year-old technology, you know, this, is, this turbo tech is 10 years old. Um, after that, they made the GTX, then the GTX Gen 2, and then the G3770 is like the more modern version of this. Uh, and they're very similar on the compressor map up to about 500 horsepower from what I can understand. Or, I don't know, this, this one has a maximum of like 22 PSI or 450 rear wheel horsepower. They call it a 525 horsepower turbo. In fact, this is probably less because it's a 0.63 rear housing. But the, what I was trying to say is uh, with the most modern one, a G3770, there are Chinese copies. And I had a guy selling one give me a, a look inside the back here. He took some photos and it actually looks like it has a, a better designed... Uh, uh, is it the volute? I don't know. The, the aerodynamics of the exhaust housing seems a lot better on these more modern Chinese turbos than 
what this is. Now, not to say, so this, this rear housing was 150 bucks, okay? Um, these are between 700 and 900 dollars. Um, so let's, let's sort of have a look at some other differences just so that you can see. Um, I mean, the general shape uh, of it is slightly different, like this one. Uh, let's have a look. You can really tell a difference here. So if we have a look here, this is nice and wide, whereas this is super skinny. And uh, you could almost, you would fill it with some, uh, you know, block it off and fill it with some water and then measure the amount of water versus the two, or you could use Play-Doh or something. But to my mind, I mean, I guess this one goes higher. Uh, this one's wider and a little bit lower. So um, you can, t you, you know, just looking at the width of this here and then the width of this here, it almost necks down here on this Chinese one, whereas this one still a bit wider. And this, this is what the 0.82 looked like. It was just a bit fatter. Um, so yeah, that's, that's sort of the differences between, here I'll get some calipers and I'll just measure. This, this doesn't like tell you anything. It, I'm just gonna, okay, so that's 53 wide at the top. And look, that's 53. And if I neck it down, it's so it's 42 wide. So it's the the Chinese housing is considerably smaller. Um, it worked fine. Uh, now, being a 0.63, it may actually, or either, may actually choke the 2.5 litre engine at a certain point. So, you know, you might only be able to get to 420 horsepower or something like that. Uh, but I'm going to go get my car tuned on E85 and I want it to have the best potential it can have. So I want to have a, a genuine housing on there. Uh, but I like the way the 0.63 drove. Um, people talk about, oh, you know, it's, it's going to choke the engine, blah, blah, blah. Um, but I, I particularly found the 0.82 to be laggy. Um, this housing, or particularly this one that I had on, uh, the boost was instant. You, you would put your foot down and it would start making boost. With the larger 0.82, which was a genuine housing, it would it'd take a couple of seconds before it started to build boost. Um, so that might, might, might not be relevant if you're, you know, say you're making 500 plus horsepower, but I was only on 375 horsepower. Um, and the boost control, I did have to adjust. Uh, I needed a lot less duty cycle to get uh, my 14, 16 and 18 PSI uh, boost levels that that I was I was tuning to, uh, and I think it'll be I'll have to adjust them again for this one as well. Um, so there you go. If you have any questions, leave them below. Um, found my video useful, uh, and you want to see more of my very low tech videos? Please subscribe. Um, this is the turbo here. I'm not going to muck around with it too much because I don't want to drop it. But that's, an, uh, that's a GT3076, a genuine Garrett. They do now make uh, cheap copies of these for like $200 or $300 Australian, which is about 50 cents in the US. Uh, there's the car it's out of, the old Cresta. Um, but yeah, I'm going to see what I can go to with this, what sort of horsepower it makes with the 0.63 housing. Uh, then I might eventually upgrade it to the G3770. Um, but uh, yeah, we've got a, got a long way to go before then. I'll just show you what I've been working on. Uh, this is my drive-by wire setup. Um, I do have a video on that. It cost me $180 Australian, which is again, 50 cents in the US. Um, 
just go back through the videos if you want to see how you too can have a, um, a very cheap uh, but proper, like that's a proper Bosch 74 millimeter throttle body, or maybe it's 68 millimeter, I can't remember. Watch the video. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching.